Good morning, good morning to you. Happy Tuesday. Yes, you made it through Tuesday. Uh, through, <laughs> you made it through Monday. And good for you for doing that. And I'll bet you're feeling, you know, a little bit more in the rhythm, in the groove of life. And I hope that you have a pleasant day. And I'm, I thank you for letting me be a part of your day. I am honored and blessed I, when I put out my content, whether it's in the newsletter or on social, uh, and of course on video, it, it all intertwines and I'm grateful to you for being able to, for, for watching and reading and all of that good stuff. I am very grateful. Thank you. All right, let's get right to today's content. Oh, who am I? I'm Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, helping you to declutter the space and the brain for maximum calm, for maximum clarity, for maximum confidence. Yes, confidence that at the end of the day, you got the right things done. Uh, now, when the days are getting a little bit shorter, that can prove to be a bit of a challenge, getting the right things done. And that's what we're helping you with this week, shorter days and getting motivated. Thank you, Heidi, um, a client for suggesting this because it's very pertinent, pertinent especially if you happen to be uh, in the neuro 5% of the world neurodiverse community, uh, our brains work just a little bit differently. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, the first thing that you want to do as we were speaking about yesterday is to make sure that you keep your regular schedule. Yes, I know you want to sleep in. You don't want to, you, you know, it's too dark. I don't want to get up. Okay, don't do that to yourself. Get, <laughs> um, get, get up. Keep your regular routine. Now, client Michael, uh, he has, he, year round, I think he goes to work at four o'clock. Um, it's dark for him year round. Now you may be the nine o'clock go to work variety. Still get up at the same time every day. Your circadian rhythms will thank you. Your body will thank you. And yesterday I kind of gave a bit of a hint as to today's content. You may want to try getting up a little bit earlier when it is still dark so that you are ready when the daylight hits. Uh, I'm but now it's dark at 5 a.m. where I am, my time, uh, and the pretty lights are all shining and it's, it's lovely. And uh, when daylight hits, I've already done a couple hours work. I've had breakfast and whoa, okay, yeah, it's daylight. So you may want to try that. Today we're talking about first things first. Same deal, so along the same line, work with the light. And if you, if you want to get up a little bit earlier like that, then that's great. It's, it's just so nice to be able to get as much done as you can. Uh, but here's the key. Here is the key that I have found really, really helps because I can kind of tend to, oh, I'll do this for a little bit, do that for a little bit. I used to be like that, but I couldn't function like that anymore, certainly, and not be as productive as I am. Um, get the important things done. First thing, trust me on this. Oh, I have lots of time. I have all day to do it. Your mental battery goes down. You are most effective. Science, and science tells us over and over again that you are most effective and intelligent first thing in the morning, of course, because you've had a rest. And that battery goes <laughs> during the day. For example, my, my content that requires absolute detail, otherwise it will it, there be big problems. I do that first thing every day. Is it rote work? Yes, it is. But it also requires attention. So I get that done first thing in the morning. And I don't trust myself to do it in the afternoon. Creative work I can do in the afternoon because it, because it's easier, it requires fewer, it requires less attention. So the, the main theme for today is a work with the light 
get as much out of the daylight that exists as you can for the next uh, few months and get your important things done first. Until tomorrow when we talk about, more about Let There Be Light, <laughs> uh, scroll down below, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. While you're there, go ahead, book a quick and no cost call with me and let's find out if we are a fit to get you on that path to calm, to clarity, to confidence by decluttering your space and your brain. Thanks so much for watching all. Bye for now.